All right, we're on a mission today. A mission? A mission. To get people to hear you when you talk. That sounds impossible. I don't think it is. I think there's a good chance people will be able to hear you when you talk. I can't hear me when I talk. That's okay. Frightening, but fair. <laughs> hey, this is our patron pick for April. Y'all voted on uh, Etherane? Ether, e Ether, Etherane? And we are playing their games, and it's going to be a great time. Um, yeah, so we, uh, we checked out their stuff, and the, the big draw seemed to be this series called Hello Charlotte. So we're going to start with the first game of that one because it looks super interesting. At least to me. It looks cool. Okay. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> I put a microphone directly in your face. And you decide, oh, what if I hang out all the way the fuck over here? I didn't, though. I'm right here in front of the mic, and I'm very loud. But you went very... You, you scooched down <laughs> as far as you could go. No, I didn't. To get away from it. No, I didn't. I'm right, right here, and I'm very loud. Yeah, I'm sure you are. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Who's going to be Charlotte? Is this Charlotte? Maybe. <laughs> I'll have to check the web. <clears throat> ha! Nice. I didn't know whether or not to wait for you to get that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It is me we're talking about here. All right, let's do this. I believe this was RPG Maker? My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it has ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died, and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order, and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form noise in my head, will you be so kind as to join me in dream-seeing? Hello Charlotte, Episode 1. Junk Food, Gods, and Teddy Bears. Nice. That's an episode title if I've ever heard one. Hello, Charlotte. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. Oh, are you Charlotte? I guess. This is my room. It's rather minimalistic. Quite modern, don't you think? Let's go to the dining room. I'm hungry. How about before that, we explore your room? Oh, wow. I found your, your level one. You have... Why are there rewind points? Probably for when something terrible happens. Cool. I just saved. What's in our stuff? A book of truth. Contains all the world's secrets. All right. The puppeteer. This guy. What? Okay, I don't I don't know what's going on here, but th this guy. Known types. Seth type. Lilith type. Live in true realm. Purpose, control, and direct. Assigned to humans only, probably. No biggie can rewind time when puppet dies. <laughs> the observers. World government members. Wear animal skull masks. Known representatives. Umbrella man. Ha. What the hell? The puppets, also known as humans. Live in false realm. Purpose to err. Known representatives. Me, mom, dad, classmates. Not so sure about that one. Huxley. Okay. The aliens. Pretend to be human to cause less ruckus. Live in the false realm. Known representatives. Huxley, Bennett, Aiden. Politicians. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm getting some serious Neil Breen from that last <laughs> entry. <laughs> yeah, aliens like the senator. <laughs> okay so is that the book of secrets that was the book of secrets what are tasks we have no, no tasks. tasks sweet excellent all right i guess we're fucking done then we uh... have a teleport omnicube we're gonna hold off on that for a moment the data omnicube huh okay Let, let's screens look at the screens the screens store user data and monitor user activity. Absolute rule. Screens must not be turned off. What is this, a Black Mirror episode? <laughs> Current user, Charlotte, is expected to follow the absolute rules implicitly. We are not responsible for bodily injury, including dismemberment, 
mental disturbances, or other harm to the user's well-being caused by infringement of the rules listed above. Yeah, all right. Omnicubes, short for omnipotent cubes, are multitask devices that allow the transportation, duplication, creation, or disintegration of organic matter and the storage of data. Please do not put liquid soap inside Omnicubes as it might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. Why soap? Of all the types of matter, why soap? Tenants. Please choose a category to read current user's observation notes on the tenants. Let's learn more about us. Current user who is yet to... Charlotte is a current user who is yet to complete the educational program. Okay, fine. Tell me about the other tenants, then. Who's Aiden? Ground floor's butler. User note. Hobbies include sewing, taxidermy. Alright. Tell me about this Huxley fellow. A surgeon who owns an interdimensional clinic on the second... If it's interdimensional, how is it on the second floor? <laughs> if it's interdimensional, how is it not on the second floor? Stop this. User note. Once ordered 30 boxes of duct tape for unknown purposes. That is a really important thing to note, actually. I, that's kind of like one of the things I really want to know about someone when I first get to know them. <laughs> be like, hi, I'm SK. Confer to me with Zizer. That'd be great. Have you ever bought a whole package of duct tape? Like, not just like one roll or a couple of roll. I mean, like a case of duct tape at one time. And if so, call me. I need to know this before <laughs> this discourse can go any further. <laughs> <laughs> Bennett. Occupation and real name unknown. User note. Bennett is the name on the badge of his hazmat suit. Alright. What's this Undertale heart doing here? User log might be useful. Hit me. Look out for puppeteer symbols. Only the users with X in their names have access to all doors. Hmm. What the? Alright. Band-aids, scalpels, notes, tea bags, everything is such a mess. I mean, I'd keep my scalpels in with my tea bags. <laughs> I don't know about you. That's like thing number two I need when I'm tea bagging. <laughs> I don't want to sleep yet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's gotta suck for. Is that where it's going? She's what? a puppet because we're controlling her. Presumably. Nice. I guess. Corridor. Okay, so this leads us out into the corridor. And that. Oh, well, let's see if there are other teleporter blocks in the other rooms here. Almost certainly. Dining room. There's hey. no teleporter block here. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call 0800 to order food from Charlie's. XOXO, Mom. This note is eight months old. My parents work on holidays. New task received. Order food. Yes. We did it. We got a task. <laughs> now, is it like Chicken Charlie's? Did you I ever eat at Chicken Charlie's? Yeah, but I forget what it was like. I assumed it was chicken. It was chicken. Some tableware inside. Nice. Cool. Also tableware. How about you, screen? How you doing? User log. The house. Tell me. Basement. Dissection room. Tailoring room. Test rooms. Ground floor. Living rooms. Okay. Yeah, alright. Sure. Great. Dad, that makes total sense. Puppet manual. The puppet control menu has four options. Stuff. Tasks. Rewind points. And exit. Junk is stuff we throw away. Stuff is junk we keep. Huh? That, that's actually pretty witty, not gonna lie. <laughs> Tasks are daily life quests. Rewind points contain save data of previous events. Nota bene should be used only if the puppet dies or if the puppeteer must leave the control console. Exit should not be an option for a responsible puppeteer. Can we die in this? Should I be saving frequently? I We can almost certainly die in this. Did you look at the game? Yeah, okay, fine. The last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with the sugar and the salt. Someone's salty. Soap attained. 
Not even our dining room drawers have anything edible. Uh, let's put that right in the teleport cube. You really want me to just do that straight off the <laughs> bat here? All right. No, we'll do. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, good. We can't. Ew. Oh, we just ate it? It's not tasty at all. We just ate it? Yes, we just ate soap. Oh. Let's let's hit that rewind point. No. We it, need the soap back. No, responsible users should not hit the rewind point unless their puppet dies. Our puppet has not died. We will not hit the rewind point. Okay. We are responsible. Whoa. Okay, but what if we need soap? Well, then it's too fucking late now. Nothing edible inside. If we need soap, then I think we just screwed ourselves. But hello, TV room. I can go under those. That's cute. Watch, Watch TV? TV? Yeah. Yeah. All 99 channels show commercials 24-7. Next on Panopticon TV. Synth meal commercial. Don't miss it. Switch the channel. Yeah. You and only you can stop the world crisis. Help stop overproduction by buying things now. Switch the channel. Yeah. Organic junk food at Charlie's is the ultimate cure for obesity. Order now by calling 0800XXXXXX. I, I can't count the number of X's from back here. As much as there are. That's enough TV for today. I love that it's a futuristic TV, but it's still got the fucking dials yeah but it's also giant why is it well i mean don't you want a big screen tv <laughs> big screen tv that's just a 50 inch crt <laughs> it wasn't locked yesterday okay oh sorry i read your line it's okay go ahead it wasn't locked yesterday nailed it library anarchist cookbook now with more recipes nailed it kaboom Advanced chemistry for explosives enthusiasts. Science fiction almanac, 24th edition. These are Bennett's shelves. They just scream danger and geek. Nice. Sewing for everyone. Dress making made easy. Fancy folds, art of napkin folding. Aiden's bookshelf. I find it cute. Access denied. All right, fine. Dick. Shelves are full of literature and alien language. I can't read the titles. The Nerd Lord. My Fair Salaryman. Astronaut Commando. This is a mother shelf. She loves romance books. Note obtained. Hmm. How to disguise yourself as a human. Hmm. We obtained a note. The Golden Apples of the Sun. Physics of the Impossible. One Hit Man. My humble bookshelf. Oh, One Hit Man. Oh, it's a phone. Oh. Hey, it's a Charlie's Organic Junk Foods. Place your order. Um, I'd like to order eco-friendly chicken nuggets and an Insta-Diabetes soda, please. I shouldn't be so nervous when talking to a machine. Don't worry about it. Thank you for ordering at Charlie's. Stay healthiest with us. Nailed it. Access denied input magic word. We don't know the magic word. I don't know the magic word. Uh, let's just input something. Access denied. Ill-mannered child. Fine. Let's see if we can look at that note we got. The magic word is... Please. Please. I almost date it, I think. <laughs> okay, but what if we do... Let me go back. Does the backspace key do anything? The backspace key? The one on your keyboard? Nope. Uh, what about left right arrows? Son of a bitch. Did I fuck it up? Mm. 
Found it. It was X? I mean, that's the back button on, okay. on, the, on the game. What a nice girl. Access granted. Aw, ye... We're in the hallway. Okay. Nothing of interest here. A strange hissing noise is coming from behind the door. Want me to open it? I'll wait until they leave. Actually, you're gonna wait until I drop a hot save here. The oh. sounds are gone now. It should be safe. Oh. Lucky! I'd better return to the dining room. Yay! What? Okay, we're just okay. I guess that was the hallway. Um. Uh, whoop. Didn't really ends. Facts: Chicken nuggets are vegetables too. What a mockery of real food. Is that all they can offer these days? You should try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. Don't listen to them. Soap is much better in nutrition. Um, guys, do I get a say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? No, we're personal space invaders. Mm. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Aiden, the ground the door to the ground floor corridor doesn't open. Mm, it's closed for minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. If you come out at night, you might find something interesting there. Aiden pinches Bennett. Ow! Stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be s watching SoapNet in the TV room. Soap helpers are just call for soap milkshakes. Bennett leaves. That's you. I almost forgot. Come to the dissection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. Aiden and Huxley leave too. Yay! All right. I'm super curious about this room now. What do you mean access denied? What's t four? Four, of course. If you're free to make that statement, then it is correct. You may pass. Uh, all right. I want to see what's up these ladder leads to the basement. Hmm. I forgot where I put the basement key. Okay. The ladder leads to the first floor. I guess we can't go that way then. No need to go outside right now. Okay, fair enough. I guess I won't explore back there then. Um, What's going to be at the bottom left where we haven't gone? Oh, that's the one that's locked. Yep. Um, I guess we got an Omni Cube. Yeah, let's try, those let's try the teleporter bits first. Hit me to the TV room. Oh, it just takes me right here. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, we know he's there. He said he was going to be there. How do we get to the dissection room? I want to get dissected. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like we can get there yet, huh? I guess not. How are your soaps? Bennett is absorbed in watching TV. Oh, did we need the soap? Maybe we needed the soap. I don't know. It didn't say anything about like it being a Sierra-esque adventure game where you can lock yourself out of things. True. Well, let's keep looking around. 
Well, we've looked everywhere that we have. That's true. You know what's what? our what's our uh, tasks? Find the basement key. Must be somewhere in my room. Okay. All right. All right cool. That's helpful. Found the basement key. Look well, that, that was easy. Yay! Let's go to the basement. Let's go to the fucking basement. Five. Can you prove that? Not access denied. Fine. If you want to make me do math. Yay! We're going to basement. the basement. Into the basement. Open me. Yeah! Charlotte opens the box. Suddenly, everything collapses into a singularity. <laughs> Sudden end. Destroyed the world in less than a second. <laughs> wow, we are saving before we do literally anything. Okay! Wow! Alright, well, when did we last save? Uh, did we eat yet? No. It was right before we ate. Right before we ate. Yeah, so let's eat. Wow. That's unforgiving. <laughs> did you look at the game's description? <laughs> no, I... Well, I did, but... Uh, okay, what's the task? Find basement key. Cool, we know where that is. Alright, we know where that is. This time we're gonna drop a hot save. Remember, kids, save frequently and often. <laughs> wow, I only save often, but not frequently. Alright, let's... <laughs> what? What? I just wanted to be double sure. I don't trust that thing anymore. Fabric. Alright, sweet. Sewing tools. Neat. Let me in. Oh, it's the tailoring room. Aiden loves order. Even his mannequins are in place. What's up, Aiden? Hi, Mr. Aiden. Being a busybody as always? Hello, dear girl. There's a dress I want you to try on, if you don't mind. I'd love to. I put on the dress the tailor made. Aw, that's really sweet. I like it. Wow, it's totally rad. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. Still needs a few finishing touches, but I'll give it to you when it's ready. Thank you. Aiden is absorbed in the process. Let's not hinder him. Simple black and white dress, huh? Polka dot dress. Fair enough. What about the others? They... Do you really want me to? Yeah, what if some of them are very different? This dress is prettier than the one next to it. A pretty dress. <laughs> Oof. This is the dissection room. Okay. Let's save. Let's uh, drop a hot save. Do yourself heart massage. Everything you <laughs> wanted to know about string theory, but feared to ask. The selfish, <laughs> the selfish gene, bad science, and the man who mistook his wife for a hat. I know two of those. I don't know bad science. Uh, I know man who mistook his wife for a hat is uh, Oliver Sacks, and selfish gene is Richard Dawkins. Man who mistook his wife for a hat. That one's Doctor Seuss, right? That. Stop this. Got an adaptation. Oh, finally, some books I've read. I kind of grew out of my Dawkins phase. <laughs> yeah. Craving paper. Embrace your inner Pika. Nice. Let's eat non-food objects. Let's do That's it. my brand. There you go. That's the Almanac of Official History. <laughs> I would like the Unofficial History, please. 
What to do if your daughter brings home uranium? <laughs> All right. Failed retinal scan. Access denied. Biatch. User log, the Umbrella Man. Hit me! He appeared out of nowhere when I was a child. Whether I was in kindergarten or in the library or with mom or alone in my room, he was always there, watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room, not uttering a single word. When I tried to tell mother about him, he lifted a finger to his lips, as if not wanting me to speak. So I didn't. In my Book of Truth, I called him The Observer. As soon as I defined him, the man spoke for the first time. Do you want to be... I, I guess I'm reading a thing here. Oh, that name is not bad, I must say, he remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who watches over you become an observer? I had to agree. Uh, then I'll call you the Umbrella Man. Slightly taken aback, the man coughed. <clears throat> Although I would have preferred a more euphonic name, let, let it stay this way. Since then, I gave every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. User log, the Umbrella Man 2. Electric Boogaloo. When Mom asked who I, who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about the Umbrella Man. Instead, I told a lie. Okay. User log, my birthday. All right. Some Marble Hornet shit. <laughs> On the day of my 10th birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A masked man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he said with the smile of a man who offers children candies. Mother told me not to talk to strangers, answered in a determined voice. He let out a sigh. I am no stranger to you. Human memory is so ephemeral, isn't it? Even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because... All villains wear top hats. <laughs> Was that so? Oh, what a silly prejudice, the man commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. With those words, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other, none other than the Umbrella Man himself. Although I'd love to have a chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are a representative of the true realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is a Seth-type puppeteer. As for their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why would they do that? You see, little one, free will is fiction. Uh, I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, this choice of words must have been too difficult for a child. Uh, let me put it another way. Meet your new friend, who will watch over you. Their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? So we are, we are, I told you. Yeah. We are, we, see, see the, yep, yeah, see, see? It, it's it's what we call metafiction. <laughs> Soap bibble. Oh. So your son is an alien. How to raise your IQ by watching soap opera. Ha! <laughs> I'm not sure about the usefulness of the second book. How are those two things related? The Complete Guide to Conquering the Universe, 425th Failproof Edition. Failed retinal scan, access denied. Cannibal Man Set Free. All right. Human Encyclopedia, the complete edition. Clinical surgery for dummies. 1,000 human diseases to die from. <laughs> That's a great title. All right. Huxley is busy dissecting a corpse. Presumably, it was human once. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little Char little Charlotte. You don't call her little Charlotte. Yeah, <laughs> I always did. All right, well, I think Charlotte. It's Hello, it's canon now. It's canon now. About the little talk we had earlier. 
can you do me the favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a couple of days? I've been so busy working on the cure for eye plague that I can't keep an eye on him at all. Damn it, Abel. You need to stop this. Because <laughs> the eye plague. I have better jokes, I swear. <laughs> for all I know now, he could be collecting rare specimens in broad daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see? He may have a bad attitude, but don't let that get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Ugh! I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has science to do. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi. If you want to make it through the day, don't you dare invade my personal space. Whoa. I can almost feel his glare burning into my skin. This is going to be a long day. Oh. New locations in the dissection room are available. New tasks received. Kill time. Time to kill. <laughs> that's what that's All right, about. let's save. Let's uh, drop a hot save. Felix is only level one. Oh, he's got the same stats we do. Uh, let's uh, drop a hot save right there. All right. Can we get into the... Um... Huxley looks very busy. Can we get into the doors now? We here. Oh, fuck. We can. Ah? Uh, hello. So this is where Bennett's crew works? Pretty much. Stuff usually blows up in here, so it has restricted access. That we just saved. It's Franklin. His name appears to be Baldwin. <laughs> this guy has Archibald written on his suit label. Oh, Archibald. It's Antoinette. He's Goodwin. That's Lecter. Hello, Florence. What's up? We've discovered that adding dark matter to the dough improves the taste of the chocolate cake by 15%. Don't tell anyone. Okie dokie. This person has no suit label. Well. Blanche. Oh, fuck, we're trapped. Uh, <laughs> what's the cabinets? What's the cabinets? Nothing of interest in here. Found tongue terror. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. No! All right. Right. Should have known. This one's fake anyway. <gasps> oh. Ugh. Oh. Damn it. I was hoping one of those would let us take it. But user log. Oh, hmm. wait. Shh, they're watching. Huh, I've always considered a possibility of being watched. It's pretty plausible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. Oh no! Oh. Oh. I can open these. Alright! Mm. Love that. Love that. Let's chat. What's this squishy? I don't know if you heard the squishy noise it was making. But it's making a very squishy noise over there. A specimen for research and an organ supply. Look, but do not touch. Mm, touch it. Touch it. It will not let me touch. What did I say about touching it? Oops. What did I say about touching it? Oops. Seems to be kosher. <laughs> All right. Later. <sighs> Move aside. The door scans the boy's eye. Looks scranded. I... One door out of three leads to death. All right. 
Spooky. Bleh. Man, I hope you enjoy the Monty Hall room. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, are we going to pick one and then it'll show us one of the other two and then we have to Yeah, switch? let's Monty Hall this. Well, no, because we need it to then show it to... Let's Monty Hall this. Open the door and die. Survive and get a prize. Wow. Is it for real? Wow, prize. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop a hot save right there. Door op one opens. Nothing happens. Open another door. Two. Door two opens. Bang. Bad end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I see you there, Sassafras. Door three opens. Bang. All right, fine. Uh, let's just open door one. That's the one that didn't do anything. Yeah, we got a prize. Yeah. Which was continuing to live. Sick. Damn it. Door one. Door two. All right, well, we got a prize. We get to continue to live. Nice. Spooky. Huxley is very busy. Okay. How else are we meant to kill time at this point? Alright. What if we look at the shelves with him? That wasn't different. That wasn't different. Yeah, okay. Huh, okay. Is there anything else in this room? Nope. It's the only way out. Alright, let's go. Got a dress for me yet? Still busy, Mr. Aiden? Mm, hello, Charlotte and Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're here, would you mind trying on some clothing? Ugh, what a pain. Please tell me Felix gets a pretty dress, too. I hope so. Charlotte covers Felix's mouth with her hand. Of course we do. Uh, won't let us try anything on. Sad face. Oh. Wanna try it on? What do you take me for? A dress-up doll? Basically. Yes, I do. I want to dress you up. What about the prettier one? Damn it. Ah, well, we tried. Hey, you want to you want to press the button? Okay, we can't go up there. Can we go outside? We can go outside. I'm gonna save the game right there. Okay, so what's that? that? Let's uh, check the far left here. This door is. Oh, that's you. This door is locked. I don't want to disturb my neighbors. That's fair. Etc. This door is locked, but I don't care about disturbing these neighbors. I wonder where this door leads to. You and your curiosity. <sighs> Fine, I'll open it. Okay. This is new. Whoa, we're in outer space. <sighs> Satisfied. Yep. Found something nice. Take it? Absolutely. Obtained Helix Nebula ownership. Wow. I hereby proclaim myself the Empress of the Helix Nebula. How does that sound? Ugh, utterly cheesy. We own the Helix Nebula. All right. I'm, I'm cool with that. Can Let's... we eat it? Oh. Nope. All right, so we went to space real quick. That's cool. Is there anything up and down the street? No, I tried. What came first, egg or chicken? This door is a bully. 
Must be malfunctioning. I'll open it. Uh, yeah, the side bits did not lead anywhere. Okay. Can we prank call someone? I don't need to call anywhere right now. I don't need to, but I want to. No, not gonna help us out with that one, huh? All right. You wanna watch some television? Bennett looks sad. Hi, Bennett. Are you dead or something? After 1,037 episodes, 10 specials, they finally confessed their undying love for each other. Underneath my protection suit, I'm dying from complicated feelings. Let's leave him until he's ready to return to the harsh reality, shall we? Cool. Well, Big Sis is going to sleep. How about you? I do not require sleep. I'll grab a bottle of soap and measure your brain waves while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. I suppose I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom. No way in hell. Go to sleep already. Good night. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night, Seth. Something slimy crawls into the room. Meow! <laughs> Oh, it's just my maggot cat. One day, my cat turned into a maggot. Or was he a maggot all along that turned into a cat? Meow. The mag cat states as it makes itself comfortable on my bed. Good. Good cat. Charlotte pets the mag cat. It purrs. Charlotte falls asleep peacefully. What was that sound? Felix promised to come back soon, too. Did he get lost in the house? How about we go look for him? Shall we consider taking pepper spray? Yeah. A flamethrower would be more effective, don't you think? I agree. Did we get a flamethrower? Nope. Fuck. Dang. Well, let's go ahead and drop another hot save right there. Nope. Can't even take a scalpel with us. Well, let's go find a Felix. Go for a midnight snack? Nope. I, mean, I don't know about you, but I love a soapy midnight snack. Felix is not here. How are you doing, Bennett? Bennett's snoring in his sleep. Alright, later, Bennett. Oh! It's unlocked. Ah. Uh... Let's watch some TV. Ah! It's Persona <laughs> 4! Oh no! Uh, hold on, we're gonna drop another save real quick. Are we ready to reach out to the truth? I face up, I hold up, I reach out to <laughs> the truth, and I don't know the words. <laughs> Felix couldn't have gone here, could he? You guys, I gotta pee so bad. What is this place? I don't remember our house having a direct passage to a princess castle. It's too dark to see anything. Mm. Take the lantern. Take it. You oh. fucking bet. <laughs> so you got it stuck in my head. It's your fault. Open the door. Fuck yeah. Get on the floor. Yeah. Everybody walks that dinosaur. Bad end. Shot to death. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, let's try that again. But with less getting shot. I I mean we seem to have a bad feeling about doors. Yeah. Let's try going back in. Weren't you about doors? 
warned you about doors, bro. What if we don't take the lantern? Yeah, I'm gonna try to think about that. Nope, oh, still <laughs> shot to death. Cool, so that's not happening. I wonder if there's anything else we can do in that room other than that door. Other than that door. You will find what you need upstairs. I. Whoa! I'm not going upstairs, thank you. The ultimate guide to skinning and gutting. Homo sapiens cooking with passion. Ha! Huh. Just a yellow teddy bear. Nothing scary. At all. A crack in the wall. A low growl is coming from it. Rain, rain, go away. Little teddy wants to play. Is it my imagination or did its eyes move? I don't know. We're too far away to see it. Human taxidermy. Going wild. Hunting. Human rights. And contested meaning of nature. Thyroid gland. 101 festive recipes. Now this is creepy. Pull. Yeah. Uh-oh. Bad end. Little Teddy wants to play. Oh. That's rude. That's rude, buddy. Poor Charlotte. I'm beginning to think that all of our op options in here are just bad ones. <laughs> Maybe we should bring some weapons with us. Yeah. I brought a golf club. <laughs> what happens if we go in there without bringing the lantern? Probably bad shit. Really? It just straight... Okay, you know what? I admire you for playing that straight. Alright, fine. Fair enough. I will take the goddamn lantern. What's in here? Ultimate guide is up. The same? I wonder why there are... That's you. Sorry. I wonder why there are bear toys everywhere. It's raining, it's pouring. The old bear is growling. Oh, so the bear in here wants to play, but the bears over there are mean. These toys are kind of cute. Pull? Hell yeah! Hmm? It didn't do anything. Well, let's go check that other room. Oh, that'll probably kill us. I bet it's gonna kill us. What, pulling it again? Yeah. Alright. I wonder if there's one that deactivates the gun. Like, did that deactivate the gun that kills us when you go up? Let's take a look. Or is that even a thing? Like... We could just not go in the TV. Ready? Yeah. Son Dead. of a bitch. All right. You know what? Well, let's just try not going in the TV world. Yeah. TV world is yeah, fun. Yeah. TV world. I'll just keep going through. Mm, won't open. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. Shit. All right. Well, I guess we're Can we go back out? Hmm. And there's nothing else interactable up here. Nope, not unless you want me to start going around looking for fucking using my item finder here. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna yeah. try pulling this rope, friendly rope. And then pull in the other rope? And then pull the other one. Okay. Pull oh. the lever! Flat. All right, cool. Poor Charlotte. Let's just not. We are shitty puppeteers, huh? Listen, I don't think it's the puppeteer. I think what we're working with here is just inherently flawed material. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's on us. Ooh, I, so I, it's Charlotte's fault. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, I hate that. I think that. we'll leave that room alone. Yeah, I don't like that one. Felix is not here. What's the meaning of life? If only I knew. Shit, we do have to go in there, don't we? 
Yep. Yeah, we do. Unless... Nope. Cool, we do have to go in there. Great. Yeah, TV world. Okay. Okay. You'll find what you need upstairs. Do we have any interesting stuff? What's the what's the task say for Fine Felix? I hope nothing bad happened to him. Okay. Find what you need upstairs. You will find what you need upstairs. Better not be something silly like this. I think we got shot enough times today, how about you? Yeah. Usually like three or four times is my limit. Hmm. Hmm. What if we pull that one a couple times? Huh, do we have to interact with something in here before we pull it? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Maybe that changed something up here? Probably not. I was hoping maybe like pulled away the curtains or something. Huh. I'm running out of options here. That wasn't helpful. Okay, well, what if we interact with a bunch of stuff in here but don't pull that le that uh, thingy? Though there's not a ton to interact with. Yeah. Have we gone back out after the thing growls at us? Huh. I don't know, I'm at a loss for words here. Yeah. Hate to look up like a strategy guide or something, but I'm not. Did we have any other option other than to come into the TV world? I don't think we did. Huh. You will find what you need upstairs. Maybe that was just classic misdirection. I don't believe you. What if we don't pick up the lantern and pull the lever in the left side room in the dark? Maybe? I guess it's worth a shot. And we've already established we can't leave other than we get shot, right? Right. What would not picking up the lantern have to do with anything? I don't know. Just trying to think of stuff we didn't do yet. Alright, fair enough. Felix! Felix! Didn't do anything. And we can still read the... Huh, alright. And we can see the glowing eyes. It's harder to see in this room with the... Hmm... Have we pulled the thingy in there with the lights off? With the lights off? Well, I think we did. 
Oh, drop. probably. I can't remember. Wow. Uh, All right. All right. Loving that. Loving that. All right. Cool. <laughs> Let's figure out are, what the are fuck we, we're are supposed we, uh, to be doing. Are we getting a strategy? Good old strategy guide here. <laughs> You do that while I uh, look for... Continue to die. Hmm. If only we had a flamethrower. Yeah. How do I get a flamethrower? Huh, there's a sh there's a run button. What's the run button? Shift. Does that change anything? I don't know. Try. Does it make you go faster? Oh! Oh, very fast. Yeah, but I'm, I'm locked into a cutscene then. Yeah, I don't know that it helps in any way, but wait, it am, is I, there locked, am I locked enjoyment. into a cutscene? Let, let me try something. I wonder. I, I I haven't actually tried to move. Let me let me try and see if I'm actually locked in the cutscene or not. Yeah, maybe we can run away. Ha! You can run away. Oh. Oh, you have to move. You have to fucking book it. Okay. All right. I think I I think we figured it out. Oh jeez, he, he he really just <laughs> goes right for you, huh? I All right. Uh I'm trying to bring him on over to the other side so I can pull the other one. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm Make it out of the first room fine without using the That time it changed, she said, hmm. Oh. Something was different that time. What? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right. Yeet. I'll go ahead and save that. Yeah, all right. We got there through fucking around before I found it in on the interwebs. Go us. I, you know what? Pro gamer strats. Yeah, that's pro, I'm that's one hundred percent pro gamer strats. Esports. Esports four twenty speed runs. Nothing inside. Got a back door key. Some vegetables. Pots. I do like pot. It's an oven. <laughs> Cabbages and tomatoes. Cabbages and tomatoes. An oven, the sink. That one I can't interact with. It's an oven. Can't interact with that one either. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and drop another. Hello. What's up, friend? The little girl's eyes well up with tears at the sight of Charlotte. Um, I'm very sorry. Can I help you somehow? Are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? That hurt. Leave. Freya doesn't talk to strangers. The girl mumbled something to herself, walking from side to side. Okay. Oh! I didn't mean to enter a room just yet. And yet. I wanted to see what else was in the hallway first. Okay, we have two doors. <laughs> 
Let's check this. Yeah, that one's locked. All right. Well, I'm glad we know now. <laughs> Midnight's Bear Cubs. Nothing of interest inside. Oh, look, a painting of red. Maybe we can save our game here. Ugh. No, it's not Silent Hill rules. Of bears and men. <laughs> I... If there's a thing here, I don't get it. Can we look at the window? Nope. Fuck the window. The lovely honey. Nothing of interest inside. These are Revit toys. Take one. Hmm. Shh. It's cute. Rabbit toy. Bear factory. <laughs> Hey, uh, how you doing? I stole a thing for you. The girl's eyes light up at the sight of the rabbit toy. Want me to give it to you? I can have it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. I like the third Your eye. Your eyes look like egg whites. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. Very tasty. I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his way in this place, too. Have you seen him by any chance? No. There's no one but Freya. I see. You must be very lonely. Huh. Humph. Freya is fine on her own anyway. Get lost already if you're not gonna stay. Heard an unlocking sound. Let me in. I'm gonna drop another hot save right here. I wonder what the speedruns of this game are like. <laughs> Alright. Got a bunch of things. I wonder if those are doors. We'll find out. The cat room. They are. Don't look in the mirror. Oh, All right. fuck. Let's look in the mirror. No, let's not. Presents are lined up nicely. Aw. The bearer of the key shall pass. These aren't alive, are they? The bearer of the ring shall pass. The bears seem to love symmetry. Take a break. The bear room. I hope there aren't any actual bears out there. Alright, let's... Alright, so I guess we need a ring for that one and we need a key for that one. Let's start with the cat room. Yeah. Hi! Don't drink from the right cup. Oh, Alright. Alright, I'll drink from the wrong one. Don't drink from the left. All right, then. Oh, wait. It's how they're oriented. All right, so can I drink from this one? Should we interact with things in the world? Flowers are pretty. Enter the right fireplace. Okay. Cats do not tell lies. These flowers are pretty. Hmm. Okay, so... I want to drink that one. Drink me! This is some serious, like, uh, Pan's Labyrinth stuff <laughs> going on here. I feel dizzy. Right side fireplace, huh? Go inside. Okay. Bad end, burned to death. All right. Oh, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Why are you doing this? <laughs> wow, rude. Do you want to see what happens when we drink the wrong one? Yeah. Fire embraces me. Huh, so we had to drink the wrong one and go in the other one. Okay. Huh. All right. Sure. We All should right. save. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually save that in file two just in case because I'm still not convinced it's not gonna. 
be a thing that comes back later. Did it save in file two? Yeah. Okay. What's up? This toy looks like it can move at any second. Thanks for that. The key under the napkin. We got a key. All right. White flower. Oh, that's you. White flowers are my favorite. Oh, nailed it. Oh, they have the 25th edition of the Sci-Fi Almanac. Can we take it, please? You can take it. High five for a fellow nerd. You high five with Charlotte. Yeah! But how? Uh... Don't worry about it. The teddies glare at me from the shelves. Nothing of interest here. Alright, well, this door doesn't open. Can't we use something? Okay. Rude? What if we need to not take the book? Fine. What if we need to go into that other room first? The one we unlocked with the ring. Well, let's just try going in here and not taking the book this time. Nope. Nope. All right. Let's, uh... Let's go into the ring room. Yeah, let's not chill out in there. Uh, I'm sorry, Charlotte. I'm not doing it on purpose. Or am I? Ring. Room. Ring. Room. Okay, we got... Stuff. Once upon a time... There lived three bears. A little, small, wee bear. Oh, I thought those were the three bears. A little, small, <laughs> and wee. And I'm like, thanks. A middle-sized bear and a great huge bear. Curtains are heavy. Eat the porridge. All right. Each had a porridge bowl, a chair, and a bed. They were honest, good nature, trusting bears. One day a girl came into their house. She could not have been a good, honest little girl, for she peeped in the keyhole. Seeing nobody in the house, she lifted the latch. Curtains are heavy. Sit on the chair. I know that the three bears story ended. What about you? Uh, I fucking forget how the three bears story ends. Uh, pretty sure they wind up uh, wind up uh, murdering the dude. No, she left through the window. But uh, we're not in a fairy tale. Alright, fair enough. Sleep on the bed. She'd been a good girl, she would have waited for the bears to invite her into the house, for they were good bears. Oh. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. But she was a rude, bad, bad little girl. She had been a good. Oh, same thing. Okay. Um. Well, well, let's start over here. Porch nut. Not this again. The def oh, that's you. The default clock sound. Who even uses that anymore? Please, let's leave this horrible place as soon as we find Felix. All right. Yeah, yeah. I like how she thanks us for not eating it. Yeah. Right. Don't make me eat anything in sight, will you? All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Don't worry. You're in good hands here. Well, uh, hopefully. I know we haven't really done much to establish that trust, but... Uh... Found a silver key. All right. Maybe that's what we needed. Collection of fairy tales involving bears. Neat. No. Wouldn't want to accidentally break this chair. We're not going to sit on the chairs or anything. I think we've tortured poor little Charlotte here enough for one day, huh? Tableware, some herbs, boring. 
All right. Well, let's. Uh... Now we have to look for an exit. Do we? Why not just go back the way we came in? Hmm. Won't open. Yes. All right. Let's go this way. Oh, she went out through the. Ah. ah. Thanks. All right. Let's save. Let's go ahead and drop another hot save right there. Hmm. So this so, is the key door, right? Yeah. And we, we have... now have a silver key, so we can open the door when the murder bear tries to get us. Uh, wait, do we? Yeah. Ta why is it under tasks? Alright. I just saved, right? Yeah. You taking the almanac? Yeah. It'll make her hat. See, she's asking us. She, yeah. Yeah, okay, you can have it. You high five with Charlotte. Presumably, we have to go into the use thing? Oh, yeah, probably. Mm, sorry. I'll get you the sci fi again this time. <laughs> The one edited by Jeff and Ann Vandermeer. The big book of sci-fi. No, the mammoth book of sci-fi. It's about mammoths? It's not about mammoths. Oh, I was lied to. Again. <laughs> Alright, so, what's the... What did that do? Nothing. Cool. All right. Silver key. Hmm. Silver key is the one we got from the bears, right? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh, bitch. Hmm. Okay. So there's a different key that's neither of those? A gold key, I guess? Maybe? Um, hmm. Wait, do we have a key to get into that other key room? We were just looking for a key, right? So we can probably get into the key room. I bet it doesn't need the bronze key. Oh, maybe. Bitch. <laughs> huh. Okay. Hmm. What if we have to use that on the door? Yeah, what if we do the thing and then use that on the door? Oh, is there a thing behind the bear? What thing behind the bear? This thing? Yes, yeah, so you see how there's a thing behind it where we can't get to in between the shelves? Yep. Wonder what that is. I don't think there is. That thing that's there? Oh, it's on top of the shelf? Okay. Yeah, they're flowers. Okay. So we tried the bronze key last time and it didn't work, right? Yeah. Uh, let's try the book. Yeah. Never under. Ne <laughs> Go ahead. You never underestimate the power of words. I'm just imagining her with the same kind of, um, uh, like having a, uh, like problems with having a diplomatic discussion. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, sorry we didn't get to keep your almanac. Oh, now it lets us pick. Yay. Oh. Mirror room. Didn't it say not to look in the mirror? Sure did. I wonder what's in there. Well, I guess I'm going to save the game because we're about to look in. Oh, cool. Thank you. Gone with the honey to kill a rabbit. The bear. Little polar bear. Paddington bear. Valley of the bears. Hibernate and grow rich. <laughs> the girl with the bear tattoo. <laughs> Lord of the Bears, the Bear, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Bear in Peace. Rupert Bear, Winnie the Pooh, The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. These are some high quality books here. Ready? Yeah. The mirror shows the hidden. Huh. There's nothing in here. Where is there? Uh, Charlotte? Hmm. Hey, how you doing there? Are you, uh... Ho! Oh! Hi! Hey, you are a little burglar. Choose the room you'll admit to your, await your punishment in. Uh... Well, it'd be lying if I told you I wanted the lion room. <laughs> oh! Okay. Uh, which room do we want? That pun was sheer torture. Oof. Really drained the oxygen from the room. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, you I'm, started it. I'm so I'm sorry, everyone. You started I'm it. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Tell SK that SK started it. All right, pick one. Lion room. Okay. The lions haven't eaten for a long time. Well, shit. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best option. What if we don't look in the mirror? Whoa. Is there a little silhouette of ourselves? I think there is. Thing is, I don't think we can go down here until it... Yeah. Until we look in. Yeah, see now it opens. I think we'll eat on out of here. Uh, oh, torture room. Yeah, I guess so. This day can't get any worse, right? Oh, so by torture room, they didn't mean that I'd be tortured there. This room doesn't look any different from others, though. Shall we drop a save here, too? Um, maybe? I'm going to throw that in file three. Let's interact with the device. What the fuck? That's not her line. Wow. Error. What's wrong, Seth? I'm having problems with the program. Does that mean that I can do what I want? No, I simply can't access rewind menu. Well, that's too bad. Oh, that is a problem. Oh. Oh, we can, but we have to save at the save point now. Okay, I think we're making progress. Cool. My eyes are, like, not adjusting to any of this. Seems like we can go in. Logic error. Helix? You! Head poke! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! What are you doing, stupid? Your punishment for running off. I thought I'd never find you. Nah. You shouldn't have followed me. Small talk aside, how did you get here? I, uh, got lost in your house. 
There's no way I'm buying that. Anyhow, we need a plan. I'm not going to sit around and wait until the bears use us for crappy taxidermy. The bears? What are you talking about? Weren't you captured by them too? Excuse me? <laughs> Pardon me? I just got here and I have no clue what you are talking about. Anyhow, you really needn't have followed. Do you even have any weapons on you at all? Only books. Seth is against violence. Unless it's book-related violence. Please excuse me while I slam my hand against my forehead. Good thing we met up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine, I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Still, what are you really doing here? Well... It's a high probability of an oracle who has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happens once in several millenniums. An oracle? What's that? For you, they're equal to gods. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. I won't go into the details for now, but it's not like your puny brain would comprehend it all. They sound like fun. You know what? No one back. All right. And no re no no all right. What's this? Security drone, presumably. This one seems broken. Aww. It's cute. Found something nice. Yeah. Take it. Better not. Aww. Whoa. Okay. There's just a whole bunch of this place. Okay, cool. Let's start in this room then. This door is missing a doorknob. Let's uh, let's look around. I think. Ah! Opening the boxes is meaningless. Is it just that one? It is just that one. Does the other side have one? Oh, that's so good. All right. Sure. Knock, knock. I see. It's the ones that have a book missing. Oh, it's a save. Oh, that's so nice of them. Yeah. That's nasty. Oh. No, see, it's pointless. Doodles! Oh, oh. I need to know about the doodles. Hey! Aw, doodles! We'll take one nasty. Ah! Oh. Gasp! Made all drones deadly! Uh oh. You can't shoot us all! No, but I can shoot you. This fucking game. <laughs> Are you for fucking serious right now? Okay. Where's the cute thing up? We'll take this one. Oh, we get, it was a different thing that time. Oh? Ugh. Huxley says it's a key element in almost every surgery. Alright, I think we'll save the game after getting duct tape. That sounds good. Let's go see what the nice thing was. Uh, actually, no, let's just keep looking. Oh, uh, drone. Hi, drones. Well, it's pointless to look in the boxes, right? But I like how it says there's something nice, and then it says there's nothing in the box. Have something nice. Take it. BGM change. <laughs> <laughs> How did they put that in a box? This is fucking with me so bad. Sure, what's in here? More duct tape. No, I'm not gonna take any nasty thing. Hall of Ignorance. Uh, let's not go in there just yet. So there's another door over there. What's on this side? I don't want these drones to be. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, have no fun. 
Lies are written in capital letters. Hmm. Wait, have we been lied to yet? Nope. No lies here. Alright, lies are lit written in capital letters. Good to know. Good to know. Let's uh, drop another hot save real quick. Hall of Ignorance? Hall of Ignorance. I don't know, I guess. How would I know? Hmm. <laughs> Question one! Two plus one is... I don't know. How do I answer it? You don't. It's a notebook that looks out of place. Read it. Once upon a time, there lived a tiny god. The tiny god created a tiny universe filled with tiny people. The tiny people created more tiny people and tiny things. Engaged in tiny wars and became tiny piles of dust. Happy end. Ah! Alright. Good end. What the f frick is even going on here? The halls of ignorance are very long. Yeah. Oh. Don't read. Obviously, yes. I don't want to replay it up to this point, do you? Then hit save and then I hit can't. Read. We can only save at the save points now, remember? Uh, do you want me to read it? I'll do it. All right, I'll do it just for you. Fuck. What did you think was gonna happen? It told us not to do some of the other things we needed to do and vice versa. Trust no one. The truth is out there. Oh, we can just leave. That's cute. Two plus one is... Tiny, happy end. Let's go right this time. It looks suspiciously the same. Oh, but it's not. They're always watching. All right. I love the upbeat ragtime. <laughs> always, huh? Huh? That's Okay, I see. We're in a fucking Lost Woods scenario. Okay, so we're not reading that one. Told us not to read it. Knock, knock! Huh, that's the second time we've seen knock, knock. Alright, let's... Uh... Up here? Hey, there's something new. Question four! Derivative of E to the fifth. Christ. That's... Honey, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. I fucking don't remember shit about e. <laughs> it's the letter that comes after d. Too easy, answer is zero. Wait, no, I'm... Oh, I got owned. It's a constant. The derivative of a constant is oh zero. Oh my god, okay, that makes way more sense. Oh, I'm not owned. I'm not owned. How do we end up here? I feel sick for that. Oh, was... wait, we swapped. I feel sick from this illogical bullshit. Question two. Turn that upside down. What do you get? Six. So, uh, three, six, something, something, zero. Three, six, nine, damn girl, fine. We're looking, looks like we're getting a code here. Are we? Yep. Better not. Question three. What's less than six and more than four? Five. Oh, Christ. We're going to have to remember the questions is going to be the tough part. Oh, So it's fuck. what? Three. So three. And then what was the one before this? Six and then five. Then something. Then zero. Three, six, five, something, zero. Three, six, five, something, and then zero. Hmm. This bullshit is illogical. Good to know. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. 
Well, let's see if we can learn anything more. Do we go middle right? Let's try middle right. This is new. Son of a bitch! Is it new? Stop this! Stop it! It's not new. Oh, that's question four. So, three, six, five, zero. Okay. So, we just need question five. If there is one, I know. I think, not. I think we're all set. Okay. I, I, th I thought I thought that was question five. Okay. And it wasn't, so we're all set. Three, six, five, zero. All right, let's uh, GTFO, I suppose. If we can remember how to get the fuck out. Stop it. No, that's not fair. No. What is what is going on here? So the uh the oh, loading that's zone. The, thing. the loading zone is the entire strip there. Uh, oh, that was the happy end. Yeah. Well, let's see what's in the other door. 3650, huh? All right. Well, let's... Doodles. Doodles. <laughs> what? You making fun of my doodles? Look at that doodle. Nice. What's the other doodles? Oh. oh! Better not. Take it. Nothing in the box. Oh, fine. Dramatic snow effect. Heck yeah! Found something nice. Better not take that. Let's see what's nice. Doodles! Oh, we got two of the same doodles. Oh, we got two of the same doodles. Doorknob. Doorknob. Yes. Sick. We are on a roll. Gotta say, I love the dramatic snow effect. It is really helping to sell me on this. I would like a roll. It fits. Open the door. Get on the floor. <laughs> Everybody walk the dinosaur. No? I feel like I'm the only one getting <laughs> this. Hmm. <sighs> Does one of us have photographic memory? And by that I mean you. Uh, Let's see, left, right, up, up, left, right, up. Left, right, up, up, left, right, up, left, right, up, up, left, right, up, okay. Or, uh, do you have a phone on you? Yeah. My phone's in the other room, oh, apparently. Oh, that's too bad. Yep. <laughs> Wait, is it? It's somewhere. It's somewhere that's not here. Yeah, Wanted I don't know. Snap a photo. Oh, you meant for me to use my phone. Yeah, just, just take a picture. No, not of my dick. Take it of the... St <laughs> take this seriously, okay? I'll send you those later. Just for now, I need you to take that picture. I got it. I need you to know that despite my persistent warning, she is continuing to... I am not. <laughs> You're making me sound like a fucking creeper. I it's... immediately took a picture of the thing we are supposed to, and now I sound like a bad person on the internet. Why would you be a bad person for wanting dick pics from your wife? <laughs> For doing so without consent? Yeah, okay, fine. Fair enough. That would be really bad. That would be bad. It's a good thing you didn't do that. <laughs> okay, good. Hello, eyeballs. How you doing? Password required. Or I didn't memorize it that well. Sorry. Huh. Well, that's what we have. Um. Too bad. Okay. Um. So what does that mean here? Okay. So the way. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So there are. I see. I see. I don't. There are eight of those. Yeah. And there are eight of these, and they're all arranged in the same pattern, on the four by two grid, right? Yep.
Yeah, I don't get it. Uh, neither do I yet, but I'm working on it. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. We start at the lower left and then just kind of snake our way up. That's what it is. That's not too bad. So the first number is three. Okay. Then one. Then two. Three, three one, two, two. Three, one, two, two. That wasn't too bad. One, three. One, two. One, but not two. No, probably. That's just the end. Three, one, two, two. One, three, one, two. Three, one, two, two. One, three, one, two. You got that? Yeah. Three, one, two, two, one, three, one. Two? Two. Congratulations. Oh, we, we died. Congratulations. What? We didn't die. What? His head. Gone. This can't be. Can't we do something? It's... It's no use. No matter what you do, he'll end up dying here in one way or another. <gasps> Who are you? The four-eyed person lets out a laugh. Stop making that face. It doesn't suit you. I'm a librarian, but... You see, nobody comes to read anymore. Anyhow, there's no use crying over dead meat. How could you? I promised to look after him, yet... There, there. Not all is lost. Aside from this person's head, I guess. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't hit me for that. What do you suggest I do, then? Switch the channel. That's all. How would that help me? You'll see for yourself. Perhaps you'll get lucky enough to change history. Why should I trust you? I'm not telling you to do something unthinkable, am I? Besides, I'm quite knowledgeable about how this place works. Ah, sorry, I'm enjoying myself a bit too much. It's the first time I've talked to an actual person in years. The door's open. Aren't you in a hurry? Right. Goodbye, then. Bye-bye. Be careful. If you meet the executioners on your way, they won't be nice like me. Is that Felix's head? Oh, I shouldn't have made her look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlotte. I, ah. Uh... Try changing the channel. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That's a lot of TVs. Well, let's hop in. This channel doesn't work. All right. Channel doesn't work. All right. Channel doesn't work. All right. It's the one that lets us save. It is. What the fuck? Let me out. Well, can we change the channel on the one that does work? Hmm. Oh, she just does it on her own. Hmm. All right, she changed the channel, so let's. So now Felix isn't here. Well, let's go find where the doorknob's at. See if any of this change. Nope, that's the same. It's probably just in the same place, yeah? Yeah. Fine. That's different. It's the Hall of Knowledge now. Question one. Okay, that's still three. The Tale of the Ink Princess. Once upon a time in a far, far away land filled with ink, lived an ink princess. 
Every morning she put on a pitch black ink dress and combed her black hair. After spending thousands of years dwelling in the vast ocean filled with nothing but ink, the princess decided to end her solitude. Thus the pr ink princess set out on a journey. Alright. Any recommendations? Felix? You? Is it really you? What kind of question is that? Of course it's me. I just got here. Is that so? Hey, why are you crying? Hmm. Hugs. Hey, stop that. Charlotte, let's go. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. Felix sighs. Is that so? Anyhow, you did not have to follow me. I pinch Felix's cheek. It's my duty to look after you, dummy. Don't underestimate me and my amazing caretaker skills. I thought you were going to scold me for running off. You came here for a reason, right? I won't scold you. Just stay safe. Okay, I guess? You're acting weird. You're imagining things. Take my hand so that we won't get separated, okay? <laughs> Absolutely unnecessary. No objections allowed as Seth likes to say. Alright. So still... Ooh, part two. The princess passed through the fields, admiring how fruitful they were, and the crops got soaked in ink. The princess swam in the sea, admiring how vast and clear it was, and all the fish died from pollution. Please leave these lands! Can't you see everything is dying? The peasants begged the princess. But the ink princess was deaf to their prayers, as her heart had been soaked in ink a long, long time ago. No matter where the ink princess went, she was always unwelcome. Well, this is a depressing little tale. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no sentries this time, though. That's nice. Oh. Hey, look. People just browsing the library. Is that the librarian? Hi! It's you! Uh huh? Thanks for earlier. It really did work. The switching the channel thing. May I ask, do I know you? You don't remember me? I believe it's the first time we've met. Ah, I'm really sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone I knew. That's no surprise. We must all look the same to you. I'm very sorry. No need to apologize. Is there a book you need to find? Perhaps I can be of assistance to my fellow bibliophiles. I do my best to keep everything in order in here, you know? Rather than a book, is there a safe exit? All exits here are safe. It's a library, after all. Uh, is that so? Alright. Anything else you'd like to ask? Uh, I was just curious why it's so empty in this library. How about that? Well, you see, this library is the last one in the world. The moment my people enter this place, they'll burn it to ashes. Why would they do that? Don't you know? Keeping books is a grave sin. Everything has to be rewritten. Some books here, however, store information that hasn't been changed for one month. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that too short of a time period? What will you do if they find you? They already did. I made sure no one came back. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm in the middle of setting up a better security system. Concept is I might lure you in like an RPG game, but then you'll find yourself <laughs> unable to get out. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you might think I'm being paranoid, but everyone's like that these days. Anything else? Your name? Can I ask your name? I like to think that we're forcing uh, Charlotte to ask. Yeah. Quite, and she has to keep coming up with questions on the spot. Like, yeah. uh, uh, name? I'm afraid I don't have one. How should I call you then? Hmm. Males of our species are called Frey, so you can call me that. Frey it is, then. You can call me Charlotte. Charlotte. The free one, huh? It's a beautiful name. I'll remember it. Bang, bang. All right, we're done. All right, let's read a book. Knock, knock. All right. Question two is still six. Oh, wait, that's just a wall there. Yeah, these are just, it's just a normal library now. Oh, that's so helpful. I guess we got the hell version first. So it's still three, then six. They are always... Yeah, I, I'm, I am aware of this.
three six five oh yeah wow you're actually capable of calculus who would have thought well not really still three six five oh oh hey there's two books yep one day she stepped into the paper kingdom Every step the princess took stained the ground, leaving inerasable footprints. Everything she touched turned pitch black, as if it were never white before. In order to protect the city at the cost of many, many lives, the citizens caught the ink princess and had her thrown in a paper-white prison. It seems unfinished. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think it's time we've amoosed. Yeah. And then the exit kills us again. I mean... Libraries are serious fucking business. Libraries are serious fucking business. This is the first time I've had to solve puzzles in order to open a door. Ridiculous. Don't worry, I think I know the answer. Nailed it. wonder if it's still over there. Ah! Ah! Really? You're gonna do me like that? Yeah. <sighs> Yay! Wait, try lifting it? Let's lift it instead. There it is! I like the dramatic snow effect, and I do not wish to get rid of it. It... It fits. Open the door. Alright. Okay, so this time we have to start in the lower right and snake our way up. Okay. Is that the same? It's no, not. it's backwards. Well, inverted. Flipped over the y-axis. So, one, three, two, two... Three one two one. One three two two three one two one. You got that? One three two two three one two one. Okay. I'll enter it. No, don't touch it. Why are you acting so cautious all of a sudden? We've been here once. I switched the channel and Switch the channel? What does that even mean? I don't think I quite understand myself. After doing that, I came back to the exact same place, but some things had changed. Like what? Like, you're still alive. Did I die right here? Your head got cut off. Oh. Then what should we do? I'll go first. Seth can rewind if I die before my expiration date. Besides, I can't afford losing you again. That's just stupid. It's the only way out. Alright, you still remember? Son of a bitch! One, three, two... Fuck. I thought it was one, three, two, two, three, one, two, one. One. I had it! I shouldn't have doubted myself! One, Kay. three, two, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, <laughs> can you remember that? One, three, two, two, three, one, two, one. I... Three, one, two, one. Yeah. Have a nice day! Well, it's GTFO. All right, we saved. Channel doesn't work anymore. But that one does. This one seems to. Go in. Okay. All right. Sure. Cool. I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Does that have a little sign? Where? Directly above there. No way out. All right. Cool. Thank you. Space of happiness. Extremely happy. I'm ex feeling extremely happy right happy, now. Happy, happy, happy. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> how it's going to be. 
I see, I see how we're gonna do this, huh? This is how we're doing it? Oh, you can just walk over that shit. Okay. No, stop camping the door, you asshole. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. Okay. My biggest fears are meat and pomegranates. <laughs> meat is red, violets are blue. Flowers that tell lies have a bad memory. Oh, oh right. fuck. You got a logic puzzle? No. Would you be so kind as to bring me the contents of the blue box? Would you be so kind as to bring me the contents of the black box? Yellow box. Are you serious? Are we going to have the green box? Blue box. Huh. What? Alright. Um, sure. Happy room. <laughs> well, alright then. <clears throat> well, conveniently, that gets us outside of the happy room. Oh, it doesn't. No, I saved it. Fuck. Alright, well. No. Okay, I'm on. All right. Well, let's uh. Space of mm. abundance. Won't open. Space of gore. Well, I don't know about you, but okay. This, this is certainly very uh. The flower lady ignores us. All right. Huh. Why are they ignoring us? Alright. <laughs> ah! Wait, what happened? It screamed. Why did it scream? It screamed. Ma. Ma. <laughs> oh, I keep. Ma. We're doing. Oh no. I've murdered so many pomegranates. Ma. All right, I'm I'm done murdering pomegranates. That makes me feel so uncomfortable. Stick a needle in the eye. This door is glaring at me. I have no idea what the hell to do here. Yeah. Wait, is the background fake? No, I, I I've been trying. Okay. Nothing relevant. All right. This is such a weird game. Yeah. Meat is red. Violets are blue. All right. Well, oh wait. In that last one, we hadn't talked to them yet, so maybe she'll trust us now that we've talked to. Huh. <gasps> they say something different every time. It's irrelevant. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this one. This one knows what it's talking about. This one wants the red box. All right. The yellow one is not lying. Okay. No, that, that was the blue one. Oh, on the, the blue one's not lying. Okay, so the blue one on the right wants the contents of the red box. Got it. Well, you could just go rent a DVD. No. No. 
I thought it was funny. Okay. I want it. Oh, we gotta eat. We got aided. Alright, um, how do I get in here? Then where? I'm trying to get in this television set here. What do you mean? It's the red box. Well, I guess that doesn't count. Okay. Meat is red. Is it some oh, do we have to get something from the meat room? Or yeah, the pomegranate go. room? The gore room? Let's go check the gore room. No, that is just a regular save file thing. Those kill us. No, we kill them. Alright, still doesn't trust us. Why do they only sometimes go blah? I don't know. Do I make the rules? There must be something we're doing that makes them do that. Is there a particular button that you were hitting? Nope, just hitting the enter key. Is the enter key a button in this game? Yeah, the enter key does the entering. Oh, oh my god. Oh, do you get that too when I... Yeah. Oh, that's so... <laughs> that one I just ran into and it did it. I think some of them you just run into when they do it. Anyone else want to get gored? Not gonna lie, it bothers me that some of them are oscillating like that. Yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm very confused. Yeah. Me too. Um, I've killed many pomegranates to get here. Huh. Huh. Um, not sure what else to do. Yeah, me neither. Looked in... I've tried hitting enter on a bunch of these to see if there's anything in them and come up empty. Huh. Straight. Alright. Well, let's try some of the other doors. Do we have a needle? We don't have needle. Nope. Okay. Oh, this one's open now. Oh. All right. Why? We've got a room full of steak. Oh, I do love some steak. No. We know which one we need. The red one? Yeah. Fancy brooch. Oh, fuck. I don't... Maybe they chase us out of that. I don't know, man. This seems irrelevant, though, because we got the contents of the box. Oh, right. Cool. Let's just go ahead and save that game. Time to go to the happy room. Happy room, happy room. Please stop. Thank you. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to, uh... Okay, some blue lady over here. I hand the item to the flower lady. I like I like to think that she's saying these things out loud for our benefit. <laughs> yeah. Why, thank you! Here, you can have my old-fashioned brooch. I don't need it anymore. I attach the brooch to my ribbon. It emits a faint light. We can use the pin attached to it. Yeah, we can. Now we can fucking stab that other door in the eye. Yeah. As one does with doors, generally speaking. Don't you? Yeah. Fuck doors. They know what they did. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop another save right there. So we have a needle now. Cross your heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in the eye. Stick a needle. Whoa. That's uh the eye bleeds. Alright. Door is oh there's a door there. Okay, sure there is. What's the sign say. Caution, beware of the three eyed. Okay. Instruction, put a friend unit, one PCS, one pieces in the incinerator and put <laughs> What? Oh no. I can't it won't let me get out of here. Alright, we'll go in. Just kidding. Yet another cliche. <laughs> I, I doubt there would be volunteers. What happens if we try to put Felix in? Oh, the incinerator machine is humming. Hmm. Pass forth, dispose of your friend unit. One pieces. Door won't open. Alright. Fuck. We need a friend unit. Use the pin? Sure. Charlotte gouges the door's eye out. The door opens. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm angry, but also fair. Hmm. So you're saying one of us has to stay here, and the other will search for the way out. That's right. You stay here and wait. I'll find a way. You sure you'll be fine on your own? Well, I'm never on my own. I do not quite get it. Just be careful. Take this, just in case. Will do. Medical scissors. Yeet. Alrighty. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just going the first direction that pops into mind. Just use the maze al solving algorithm. I mean, oh, I could be, yeah. Oh, there, there's a save. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want to take a picture of that? Nah. All right. Not feeling it. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I I feel you. I kind of don't even know what to expect with this game anymore. So, <laughs> it's a tic tac toe game. I see. Alrighty. Are we X's or O's? Oh. oh, we're O. Oh, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Why are they like this? Oh, no. Alright. Too many doors. Oh, oh God. Okay. That one's. Oh, that's the one we came in from. I see. I mean. Okay. Okay. Not that one. We're just gonna be methodical about it, right? I suppose so. What happens if we go in this one, huh? Alright, well. I thought I was being cute. Uh, 
try in here. This one looked different. Oh, that one looked different for a moment. I don't know if there's anything else in these rooms. Huh? Anything? No? Signs point to no. Disorienting colors, if anything. Okay. You're next on the hit list. Nope. Nope. All right. How about you? I feel like I'm wasting time here. I wonder if Felix is all right. We left him all alone. I'm worried too. As expected from Seth the Worrywart. Let's hurry back to his side. Sure thing. All right, so. Charlotte wants to go back. Felix isn't here. Uh oh. Felix? Oh no, what'd you do, buddy? The door's half open. Not yet. <laughs> Kidding me? I'm saving that game. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. I see. I always wonder what rabbits have inside their bellies. I am this surprised. Oh, it wasn't cotton. Oh, damn it, we had to kill 9S again? <laughs> I was too late. The girl approaches me, leaving the boy like a toy she lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my... Oh, that's you. The girl touches my cheek with her blood-soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? Come here, I'll sing you a get better song. Pain, pain, go away. Don't come back the other day. It seems like Ron is the right answer. What about Felix? I must leave without him. Over my dead body. Snap out of it. He's not even a person. What are you saying? Ah, uh, I get it. We just have to switch the channel to make everything right. Hey, who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very next... Oh, that's you again. Is it? The very next moment, the girl looks at me as if she's seeing me for the first time. I, 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 Let's can't play tell, I can't tell how metafictional we're getting. That's true. I'll close my eyes and count to 60. Make sure you find a good place to hide. Or else. You're it. One, two. Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm doing that one Scooby-Doo segment. There's no place. No, that's you. There's no place to hide. Where are you? I don't want to be gutted alive. Please. Please kill me before she does, Seth. I'm begging you. Then I'll do it myself. Charlotte uses scissors on herself. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. All right. Umbrella Man's afternoon tea time. The meat is not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. Yet another unsightly death. This is no good. Not only have you led the girl to the wrong path, completely lost control of her actions and then been manipulated by her. 
I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment of an ending. I am deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as a puppeteer. I hereby request you grant me another chance. That's quite a bold request, dear boy. I'll grant it, however. Death can be rather amusing. Try as many times as you'd like. What? And we're back here? Interesting. What if we... Somehow I feel that I've been here before. How about one of us goes to check out what's ahead? That might be dangerous. I'll wait here. You're not going alone, of course. My puppeteer will go with you to ensure your well-being, right? That's right. I knew you'd understand. Just be careful. Take this just in case. Got the medical scissors. Will do. See you later. Interesting. Huh. Pilot in the Felix Mobile now. All right. This is different. I hope it's not a thing where, like, there's something that I've just completely fucked up and... It is not. I am glad that you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Speed run. What's wrong? Wait a moment. I'll check on Charlotte. All right. Hmm. Hello there. It's dangerous for a little girl to wander around here all alone. I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, it's a pity they won't make it back before you meet your death in ten minutes. That'd be bad. Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Is that all there is to it? I don't want to cause anyone trouble. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There's only one way to save your friend, however. The masked man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods. It's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pets Charlotte's head. Ah! I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta learn to stop pat, pat. reaching. Yeah, well, I was trying to pat you on the head. This is, <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Yep. Don't blame yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. That's the time wasting room, right? So it's no going back for now. All right, never mind then. Is it gonna make us waste time? How about now? It'll presumably cue us. Yeah, I wanted to see whether or not we could be coy about it, but... You know what, this time let's start at the bottom. I'm only wasting time here. Guide me back, please. Sure, just a moment. Ah, the human body is such a fragile thing. I can't just apologize if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? Hmm, all this junk is no good. Scissors? Not bad, but not the best option either. Such a shame I'll get this pretty dress dirty. Hi! You wanna play hide and seek with me and my friends? See, I'm really bored. That's right, let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> Open your eyes. Here come the scissors. What the hell is going on? Did our patrons vote for some creepy pasta stuff? 
We're playing a game. I'm beginning to think this game might not be entirely normal. How you doing, Charlotte? That doesn't look good. Who is this person? What was I... I just have to switch the channel to make everything all right? Right? Hey. Don't make me a murderer. Yeet. Drop another save right there. So it was what? This way and then up and then around. Around the fork. Yeah, yeah, so you noticed it too. The fork in the road. That's I it. I wonder if there's other thing, other places to go in this place that I'm just not... Probably not. Charlotte isn't here. Oh. That's different. Let's go in there. Charlotte? Felix, Seth, here you are. Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anymore? Anywhere? And what in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Uh, the blood isn't mine. While you were away, I figured I'd stuff the meat chunks we saw earlier in here. Is that so? Ah, uh, I need to stop hitting them. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Jeez, I was worried about you. But here you are, covered in blood and more obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait. You were worried about me? That's something new. Aww. You make it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You are truly my friend. I'm a puppeteer, not a friend. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Then you're the best puppeteer ever. Let's go, everyone. All right. Is it? It's open. Charlotte? Hey, are you really all right? You're spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine. You do not have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. Aww. Charlotte takes Felix's hand. She's shaking. Let's go in. Right. Hey, Felix. Yeah? Can you tell me more about what we're looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well, all I know is that the people here are called P Pythias, who were created by an oracle whom they call their god. At least they used to. Pythias are extremely powerful. They can alter reality to their will, which most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. From what I've gathered, every species perceived them differently. Otherwise, they wouldn't look so, uh... So human? Right. It's you. Last time I visited, there was much more of them. Yet, we barely met anyone in our way. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. Goodness me. Dios mio. Contamination warning, organic tissue ahead. What are you talking about? Great, dead Pythia. Poor thing. Another dead body. Really? It's not moving. They all look the same. We'd probably look the same to them as well, you know. Alright. Slaughterhouse 1. Slaughterhouse 2. There better be three more. <laughs> if there aren't, I'm going to be so sad. Also, uh... It's a bit overrated. <laughs> it's not the best Kurt Vonnegut novel. The best Kurt Vonnegut novel is, of course, Galapagos. <laughs> I 
I mean, any book with a subtitle that's The Children's Crusade can't be that good. <laughs> it was a mistake to put a microphone this close to my face. <laughs> uh. Enjoy the vacation with style, Bosa! It's always here when you need it the most. Comes with two blades. For vacation. Cool. We're not taking that. A weapon would come in handy, though. Not when you don't know how to use it. It's these days. Not when you don't know how to use it. Well, you do have a point. I have the worst marks in gym class. Ways to find out if your neighbor is possessed by God. One, shoot him and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that works. I don't think our fucking neighbors would be very happy about that. But good to know. I will keep that in I, mind. Maybe they would be. We don't know. That's true. They might be God. She is us. We are her. I see. The third... Dude. There's no one in these rooms, only the corpses. Yeah, that's true. Still, wasn't that fun? I guess none of them were possessed by God, huh? Slaughterhouse 6? We skipped. We skipped 4 and 5. Whoa! Bad end, executed. What the fuck? We, <laughs> we got yeeted. I guess just... Don't go Don't into go six. In six. Yeah, okay, so six six is off limits. So we're just gonna not touch six. House also the one without any windows or anything on it. Okay, which one's this? Slaughterhouse five. Here we go. Are there any more this direction? Yeah. Slaughterhouse four. Second. Fourth. First. <gasps> I see. We went into the third too early. Door won't open. Mm, won't open. Our house four. All right, let me in. This is. Oh, interesting. I don't know the password for that. All right, well, let's go in the first first. The first. Please don't kill me. Four. Four. Oh, I see. Second is nine. nine. Fourth is one. Four nine one. Four nine eight one. Got it. Wait, eight? Remember we did a little loop de loop in that one? In what one? In the third. No, I don't remember that. This one. Uh, not this one. No, that's the bad one. Third. Oh, 4981. You got it. Told you. Yeah, not touching that one, though. Eh. Oh, right. That was... Hi. Okay. Follower mask obtained. Get one today for free. Executioner mask puts the cute into execute. An absolute must-have for all, ladies and gentlemen. How do they look? Rather menacing. All right. Awesome. Awesome. That was the same mask that guy that rescued Charlotte had, yeah? I believe so. Well, let's go into the... Please don't execute us. Hello? Alright, they don't want to talk. That's No honestly. talking, only boasts off fun times. There's a stack of notes on the table. Eight, three, seven, five, two, nine. <laughs> Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Eight, three, seven, five, two, nine. Can you remember that? Eight, three, seven, five, oh, two, we nine. Oh, we got a note. 
eight six seven five three oh nine. Would you? You are making it so hard for me to memorize this. <laughs> Cut the paint off with amputation saw. Who's made a high quality steel? Who said a girl's best friend was diamonds? Okay. I'm gonna drop another save real quick. Eight, three, seven. Yeah, I don't know. We have the note though. Eight three seven five two nine. Eight three seven five two nine. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Are you gonna be like this? Yes, I will. All the time. Here, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> What's the posters? Oh jeez. Okay. Well, let's start in this room, I guess. Everyone is born to execute. Christmas morning, you'll be happier with a shotgun. An all-family adventure. God hunt. Television room. Door's locked. Of course the door's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Become an executioner today. Sign up for the God hunt by calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is a wreck? You did nothing wrong. Get your revenge by joining the God hunt today. I like it. It's like big game hunt, but with God. <laughs> I'm not an atheist because I don't believe in God. I believe in him. I'm just going to take him down. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our air-powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience. Weissman gun. Barrels of fun. When you can't sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. So that's how they portray oracles here. She's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have physical form, nor a gender. The one depicted here is no more than a young Pythian priestess. Still. Some art. Damn. Fight for equality! Ominous. I think I heard something behind the door. I hope it's not executioners. Right now, we are the executioners, remember? Open the door? Yeah. Yeah. Open it. And then, what do we do after we open the door? Go in? No. Nope. What do we do? <laughs> I'm don't... not going to open this door until you tell me what happens after we open the door. Get on. <laughs> yes. The floor? Yeah, there we go. See? That wasn't so hard. Oh. One of the dismembered bodies is moving. She's still alive. Well, that was your line, sorry. Well, well, hello, dear executioners. You're so tiny, yet you're the ones who came to end the life of our last child. How ironic. Come forth and swing your blade. Don't make us wait any longer. Um, I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters, we're not ones of your kind. We take off our mask. The girl extends her weak hands to my face. Just two eyes. You are merely a traveler. Uh, am I missing something? Hush. We're speaking to a real oracle, creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It, it's an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we've known your parent once. <laughs> the girl coughs up blood. Eh. You should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved. But we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. But there are only corpses. We should leave, Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. Well, that's bleak as shit. All right. All right. Let's go. Great. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and vamos. Maybe we can finally get inside this door now. Yay. 
Goodness me. There's a lot of TV stations here. Yeah. Somehow I have a feeling it'll be the last channel we visit. Well, it might not be far from the truth. Well then, let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running away, putting you in danger, asking you come, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I didn't have the slightest idea of what happened to this place. I still don't. I thought Uncle would recognize my achievements if I wrote a paper on the oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet this oracle and their universe reek of death. I was twenty billion years too late. Must be thinking how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. Hog. Hogs. It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms or maggots even. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me, it's almost like being with a friend. Oh, stop. Don't ruin this moment. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that pseudo-intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't we already friends? It, if you say so. <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Let's go in. Applause! Applause! Huh? Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We were, uh, waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you en enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course, all of the worlds you've visited. There used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called a god, although we never were one. Our own children raised a knife against us. We used to have a thousand hands, yet they've cut all of them off, and now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billions of eyes, yet they gouged out every single one, and now we are blind. We used to lock in leaps and bounds through the worlds we created, yet we can no longer take a single step as our legs were taken away. The creations we dearly loved, regardless of their deeds, destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgive them, we forgave them for their sin, and we forgive you. You see, the universe we've created is dying. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do is indulge in the memories of the past, no matter how distorted they are. Soon we will fall apart. Soon will this land be and those walking on it. That would be troubling. We absolutely have to return home by tomorrow's morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? I think we agree. Input error. What do I have to do? Put your hands on the screen, would you? Are you uh, sure about this? Well, there is no other way we can leave. Didn't you hear the oracle? You would not have listened to me either way, would you? Even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone, in the end, I'm quite a troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. The oracle, no, the god of this world, puts their palms to match mine on the other side of the screen. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god into my heart, and we walked home hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became a part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one, the channels switched off.
The Oracle used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back home safely. While we were away, not a second passed in our world. Mm, that's quite a story, my dear. To personally meet an oracle, even a dying one. What great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? Do you always have to wear this creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using Father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it would be inconsiderate of me to have a chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel, but if you insist, the Umbrella Man takes off his mask. Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Say, Umbrella Man. Mm-hmm. Do you happen to know the person I met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because I committed an unimaginable sin, yet I only vaguely remember it, as if I watched it from the side. Also, her eyes were a different color in those scenes. Hmm, that's true. Your naivete never ceases to amuse me. Of course, we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. I can't tell her the truth, can I? You're talking as if we're in a video game. Most of the worlds are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming part of you. I'm sure Mr. Seth will be greatly upset if you two go around causing havoc when he isn't looking. We both know I'm not like that, sir. <sighs> By the way, I am rather surprised that you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life-supporting systems collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do that much damage to my body. Hmm. What has become of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish we had talked more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The Oracles. What exactly are they, really? One could compare them to stars. Reaching the end of their lives, they gradually lose all their power and become infantile white dwarfs. Think of yourself. Would a god capable of creating new life from zero care for such insignificant beings like you? Aren't you talking to me right now? <laughs> Good one. Well, isn't that great that you've met a new friend? Now take your pills and go to sleep. I wouldn't want you to nod off in your lessons, although they only postpone your unemployment status. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. We got pills. Pills here. I'm off to sleep, then. Sleep well. I can't go that way. You'd be blocking his view. Oh, gotta take the pills first. Gotta take the pills first. Oh. Pills here. Abilify. Took the pills. Wait, it said Abilify? Yep. Did the corridor change? The corridor's changed. Everything looks so... Hey, everything looks very different. Huh. That's alarming. Let's... Huh, that's a normal TV. Enough TVs for this week. You know what? This might sound a little pretentious, but... This game reminds me a whole lot of um, the style of um, Murakami. Huh. It's very, it's very melancholic in a way that's hard to, that's hard to enunciate. That's hard to kind of like pin down. Like the, the it, it 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 feels. I'm too sleepy to wander around. Let's sleep, Seth. All right. All right because you asked so nicely. That's a very normal room. Yep. Teddy bear. 
Hi, Mad Cat. Meow. Sleep. Do we look at the bookshelf? Nothing interactable. Okay. All right. Well, she said she wants to go to bed, so. Yeah. I wonder if I'll see space fish in my dreams. Good night, Charlotte. Oh. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. What the hell did we just play? Something interesting that we have to play the next bit of. That is... Fucking weird. Fucking weird. I love it. Yeah. But I wasn't kidding. Like, it has it has this... There's a huge sense of melancholia, but it's it's hard to pin down exactly why. Yeah. It is. It, it, it's, it's just got so many layers of um, absurdity to it that it... it it's kind of hard for me to like pick out exactly why it is that but still holy shit hey patrons you have good taste yeah good pick good pick we'll have to see what happens next yeah so we do have episodes two and three um and we're probably gonna play them because yeah, uh know. The, this just hard sold me yeah, so <laughs> we, don't know what happens. we will be playing those don't you worry Please, please don't. I don't know what you're doing. We have to do the we have to do the patron message. Okay, I'll pull my face away from the mic briefly. Do you want to do the patron message? I don't remember what's in the patron me patron message. You thank our patrons. Thank you, patrons. And then you tell them how about our Patreon. We have a Patreon. It's good. You tell patron pa pat Patreon dot com slash eight p r. You nailed it. Yeah, but that now you have to tell them like what what the 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 benefits are, like how they can vote on our Twitter nickname. If you put in a hundred dollars, you get to pilot the Vivian. <laughs> I don't think we should agree to that <laughs> without, <laughs> or how they can vote on which game we play next month. Oh, why don't you tell them about that one? Oh, I don't know which game we play next month. They haven't picked it yet. The, but. You're supposed to entice them to sign up for the Patreon. You so. should sign up for the Patreon so you can pick what game we play next month and feed us more weird things. You're really bad at... I'm trying my <laughs> hardest. And I appreciate that. <laughs> and I didn't want to encourage it, but yeah, if you give me $100, I will let you pilot the Vivian. Vivian.